Hello friends, it's Jim O'Rear. Welcome back to Jim O'Rear's Wacky World. Today we are headed over to Universal Orlando to see Halloween Horror Nights and check out another scare zone. If you've been watching this channel, you've seen other scare zones that we posted to give you an idea of what it is like to go through these. And if you don't know what a scare zone is, it is basically a section of the park that is set up with props and scary lighting and monsters that you have to walk through to get from one part of the park to the other. And uh, this year it's all themed around a storyline based on Dr. Oddfellow, which is the main character of Halloween Horror Nights this year. And uh, this one that we're going to look at today is called Jungle of Doom. As you enter Jungle of Doom Expedition Horror, you are greeted by a show. Yep, the show starts right away. And this actually looks cooler in the dark. I'll show you what it looks like in the dark in a few minutes. But we're going to go through this in the day just so you can sort of get a glimpse at what some of the creatures look like, what some of the decorations look like. And this scare zone is always super dark in this area. And you can't see a whole lot in the dark anyway. So this is uh, this is the best look that you're going to you're gonna get of it. Um, this year, there is a theme running through the entire event, especially the scare zones, which tells a story of Oddfellow. And Oddfellow was that guy that we saw on stage, or, or an in, in, incarnation of him anyway, uh, on, the, on the stage. And, um, and it's an interesting storyline, but unfortunately, if you go into this not knowing what the storyline is, the, the scare zones are just kinda, kinda random and weird and not a lot going on not a lot to look at and you it just really doesn't make a whole lot of sense unfortunately like in previous years you could go into a scare zone and it was cool and scary uh you know you didn't need to know the story behind it but this is like eh here's that show what it looks like in the dark and as i said it, it's much much cooler in the dark when you see it with the lighting and the fog and stuff like that and um, this is really the best part of, of this scare zone. The rest is kind of, eh, whatever. And, uh, you know, the one thing it does have going for it is it's very, very dark in there. And you can't see where the monsters are coming from. Especially when the fog gets really, really thick. And basically all you just see is colored fog. And they can sneak up on you from anywhere. Especially this guy here that hides in the bushes. Uh, but, uh overall uh, there's there's scare zones this year at halloween horror nights just almost seem like an afterthought it's almost you know like um yeah let's just let's just stick a few props out there a few people in some some rubber masks and um there you go we'll let them jump out at you in the dark and um it's uh not nearly as spooky or as fun uh, as previous years scare zones but um you know maybe there'll be an improvement next year but that is what the jungle of doom scare zone looks like at halloween horror nights this year that is a look inside jungle of doom the scare zone over at halloween horror nights universal orlando one of the better scare zones this year um universal has kind of dropped the ball on scare zones they're not overly great this year uh, but this is one of the the better ones, and uh, it's a good section of the park that is always dark and spooky uh, every year anyway, so that lends to it. But that is a look at Jungle of Doom. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have, click that like button to let the powers that be know that you like the video. And while you're at it, click on follow or subscribe, and you'll be notified when I upload new videos. But thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.